Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I feel like it has been so freaking long since I last filmed a video. I actually went to the beach over the 4th of July and got the worst sunburn I think I've ever got. Literally to the point where I had like blisters and I'm still peeling and it's like over a week later. It's a hot mess. What's new? Welcome to my life. So I really couldn't film because my face was literally wrinkled. It looked like I had scales and like everything was peeling. Anyways, moving on. I'm finally back and I'm bringing you guys a full face tutorial. Today I just wanted to do something that was super golden and bronzy and kind of a little bit of like a overall glowy, dewy, bronzy look. I did use my Morphe 35G palette. That's what that's called, right? Yeah. 35G palette today. I love this palette for summer. It is just so beautiful and bronzy and golden and just everything you could ever need. So if you guys want to see me film more looks with this palette, let me know. But if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look then just keep watching okay I do want to point out I do have a top on it's a bandeau moving on so for primer today I'm gonna to start off by using this Imani miracle 7-in-1 primer serum I use this in place of my moisturizer today and I've been using this for a little while and I've really been enjoying it because it just provides a really nice smooth surface for your foundation to go on and it's also moisturizing but it's not too heavy for foundation I'm gonna use my it cosmetics bye bye foundation and in with that I'm gonna mix in my morphe liquid luster drops in the shade optic this combo is every Everything for me in summer because not only are you getting the SPF from the bye bye foundation which is so important to take care of your skin but it also has a nice sheen to it already and by adding that morphe liquid luster drop it just really creates a nice dewy glowy complexion and it makes it look like you're glowing from within and I'm all about that in summer so I'm just gonna buff and pat this into my face and then I'm also gonna bring this down my neck because we don't want any separation in that area that's not cute you can't go get you a man if your face and neck don't match ladies don't make that mistake for concealer today we're going to switch it up and instead of my tart shape tape i'm going to use my l'oreal pro glow concealer i really enjoy this it's a great drugstore concealer not only do they have great shades and this has a decent amount of coverage but it's super moisturizing it almost feels like water on the skin it's just really nice and hydrating and i feel like in summer you need that little extra bit of moisture on your under eye or at least i know i do so i'm just blending that in and because i'm extra and i really need a bright under eye i went in with my maybelline fit me concealer and i just put that right in front of or not right in front but right in my inner corner of my under eye just to brighten that up a little bit because your girl likes to be extra okay Now, would this really be a full face tutorial if I didn't use my Chanel cream bronzer? Okay, you guys already know the drill with this. I love this stuff. It is so worth the money, and I'm just going to be blending this in with an angled kabuki brush. I believe this is the F86 or the F84 by Sigma. I love this product, and once again, we're putting this on the perimeters of our face and bringing it down our neck because we can't make those kind of mistakes in 2019. Clearly, I love using cream products in summer, but this is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Perk. I'm not sure which shade this is in. I just got a little sample size of it, and I am obsessed with this. I'm just putting this on with my fingers, but I've also used a dual fiber brush to apply this before, and I like both ways. It just blends in really nicely to the skin. I haven't found a cream blush that I enjoy as much as I enjoy this one just because of the blendability, and it just looks so natural. I'm all about it, and I'd love to try more Milk Makeup products, so if you guys know any that you like, let me know down below. But now I'm just taking a little bit extra of that morphe optic highlighter and i'm just putting that onto the tops of my cheekbones once again because i'm extra and also just to really enhance that summer dewy glow you guys know that is my thing i'm all about it Now I'm just taking this Bye Bye Shine Powder by Imani. This is just a translucent powder and I'm going to use this to set my under eye. I will be using my JH07 brush to set this and beforehand I'm just going to go in with my concealer brush and blend out those under eye creases because my concealer always sets really quickly and if you set your concealer in place the way it is, that's how it's going to look. So if you blend it out, you won't have those creases. Just a little pro life tip from your girl. But after I set the under eye and kind of the center of my face where I tend to get a little bit more oily. I'm going to go in with the Imani foundation powder. This is a great powder. It's super buildable. I like the amount of coverage it gives. It doesn't feel too heavy and it doesn't dry me out. I've really been enjoying these products. Um, I'm not going to pay to say this, but they did send me their products, so I just wanted to try them and use them out. But now I'm just using my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer. It just is so beautiful and buildable once again. Clearly, I'm all about the buildable products, but it's nice because you can kind of layer it depending on how much of a tan you want to give 
off and it's not too warm but it's not too cool it's just the perfect kind of bronze shade so once again I'm just putting this everywhere I put that cream bronzer to set that in place now I'm using my Morphe blush in the shade Unapologetic. I love this shade in summer just because it has a little bit more of that kind of bronzy, blushy, mauve -y kind of shade to it. I don't know, I just threw three total different shades out there. You know what I mean, okay? So once again, we're using this to set the cream product and enhance it and just kind of really create nice layers on the face, making everything blend together and look nice and natural. Now I'm using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. I freaking love this stuff. It is so beautiful. And I'm just going to put that onto the top of my cheek bones with my JH09 brush. Moving on to my brows, I'm going to fill them in with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I do have a tutorial on this, so I'm just going to speed through this. If you are interested in seeing how I fill in my brows, I will leave that down below. Dipping into my Morphe 35G palette, and I'm taking the shade Naked with the R37 brush. I love this combo. This is a great transition and crease area brush. It's nice and fluffy, but you're able to have more control of the product. Basically, I'm just putting this in my outer corner and my crease area, just kind of giving myself a general shape of where I want today's shadows and then once there's little to no shadow left on that brush I'm gonna kind of bring it up towards that transition area to have this act as a transition shade because this is one of those shades where you can build it up to have it be more dramatic or you can blend it out to have it be a little bit more natural So once I have that built up to the pigment that I like, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Tan Up, and I'm going to be taking this with a blending brush. I think this might be the Morphe E17 or E13. I'm not sure. I'll list it on the screen. But this is the darker shade that we're going to be using. It's a couple shades darker than the transition shade that we put down. And so I'm going to focus this shade on the very outer corner and tightest through the crease to create a nice amount of depth. You can take this shade as dark or as light as you want it, but I'm also making sure that I blend it out in that outer corner to be a little bit more more of like that cat eye shape so that this is a nice blown out smoky eye and that there are no harsh lines. You guys, this shade is so freaking dreamy. I am in love with it. This is the shadow Solstice and I went to apply this with a brush but I was not getting any pigment. So instead I dipped in with my finger and you can see I got a lot more color payoff there. What I'm doing with this shade is taking it from the front of my lid or not really the very inner corner. I want to leave that blank because I'm going to be putting an inner corner shade there but I'm bringing it from that first third of the lid to about the second third or like halfway on i'm blending that shit together you guys know the drill now i'm just taking the shade glare and i'm going to put that on my brow bone in my inner corner to highlight i just wanted a little bit of a brighter highlight but you can totally use that gold shade now i'm just taking my morphe liner in the shade I've almost said Richie. No, girl, this is dark room. And I'm going to put this on my inner lower waterline to add a little bit more drama. I was tossing back between this and the liner in the shade Richie, which is more of a deep brown, but I wanted something a little bit extra, so I went with the black. Then I'm just taking that shade tan up, and I'm using that to buff out that liner. And then I'm going back in with the first shade we used, and I'm using that to blend everything together and to connect that lower outer corner with the upper outer corner. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my all-time faves, but I'm always looking for new stuff to try, so if you guys have any, of course, leave those recommendations down below. But I'm just putting on a quick coat of this to prep my lashes for falsies. You can totally just use mascara, but my lashes are weak and they're trying to play me, so I'm going to throw on some falsies. And today, I will be using my Tracy Cosmetics lashes in the style Sassy. This is one of my all-time favorite styles from them. They are just such a beautiful lash. I love the wispiness that they give and the volume, and I love how they kind of change up the amount of lashes that are next to each other. So I'm just going to pop these on to my lash line, obviously. Where else would I put them? And if you guys are interested in trying out any products from Trace Sheet Cosmetics, you can use the code BROOK20 at checkout to save 20%. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, and I actually love this for my lower lashes. It just does a really nice job at separating them and elongating them, and I find that it doesn't add any clumps, which we're a fan of, okay? No one wants clumpy lashes. That's not cute. I am going to line and fill in my lips with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Bite Me, and then I'm going to be applying a Revlon gloss. I'm not sure what shade this is in, so I will have it in the description down below, but it's just a really pretty peachy shade. I'm all about it. It's like the perfect summer gloss. 
Alright, so that completes today's look. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to click that bell button so you get notified when I upload videos. Let me know what kinds of videos you want to see from me next. I am totally feeling this dewy skin right now. I am living my best life. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you head on over and follow me because I do post more looks on there that you guys don't see on here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and with that being said I will see you guys in the next one.